Hi there Kelly, it's Corey here from West Point Autos doing the video tour for you on our Toyota RAV4, the red one. Uh, so in this, I'll, I'll quickly go around the inside and outside condition of the car, point out any scratches and dints I do see. Uh, like I mentioned to you on the phone, the car is very tidy. Um, but yeah, so what we'll do, we'll start with the front here and then we'll work our way around. So as you can see, it does have that genuine Toyota RAV4 nudge bar under there. Under there. Um, the condition of the front bar, there's a few minor black stone chips, but really nothing too major. Uh, again, this car hasn't been cleaned properly, so there's a little bit of dirt still on it, so some of these marks will come off. But as you can see, there's a bit of speckling through there, uh, just some, just a few stone chips there. But the, the nod bar itself is in very good condition. Uh, and the bonnet, so I can't see any dents through there. So what we'll do, we'll come along around the side of it and we'll just have a look to see where it dints or scratches along here. Can't see any dents. Um, there are a few scratches just around, around where the um, drivers put their hands, people's rings, people's keys. It's kind of what scratches it there. Um, there are also the same things just around the um, passenger door on the right. Um, as you see, no dints and scratches. The car does have your tinted windows there as well. And obviously you do have those chrome alloy wheels on there as well. Uh, all which are in very good condition. So we'll continue along the side of the car. So uh, a few other minor marks, so I could see there's a little bit of a mark there and there, just in the paint. And then right at the top of this, uh, there's a bit of a scratch just sort of there. Um, so that, there are some very, very minor ones. So you can see all in good condition there. Um, and I'll show you these scratches I was talking to you about. So these ones just here. Oh, I can open this up for you. So those ones through there. Just as people get things in and out of the car, that's really all that's from. I'll show you the bit later. Um, so just in regards to there's a few scratches just there. Very thorough. Like I said, very very minimal. Okay, so we'll do this side of the car now. Yeah, and the alloy wheels are in good condition on this side. So there's a scratch just here. It was along there. You can see it. Try it the other way. So yeah, very minor, but that's probably the main scratch that's on there. And then we're back to the front, which is pretty tidy. Okay, so that's the main overview of the exterior of the car. I'll quickly just show you the, um, the seats. Put right. these back up for you. The other side. Okay, so just in the rear, so that's your door card, so for a car that's done uh, in the 90,000 Ks, um, is in very, very good condition, there's hardly any wear and tear through here, small scratch there, but that's really very minor, seats are in good condition, the, no wearing on the bolsters through here, well, the headrest still in very good condition, uh, I don't see any major stains or anything like that throughout it as well. Uh, same with the other door card. Okay, and the rear of the seats, even the carpets are in good condition still. So very, very tidy car for what it is. Um, also, so this is your, your back. So your door opens up. Very, very easy to get things in and out. Um, you do have a, an aftermarket um, cargo rack here. So you can just keep things in there. That can come out as well. Um, and then just to your side here, you do have the little... Uh, 
levers to pull down the seat, so you just give that a pull, seat folds flat. Another one on this side, give that a pull, seat folds flat. So you do have a very, very big area that if you are moving or something like this, these are a very, very versatile car. Um, you do have two compartments in here as well, and I'll just show you that. That goes pretty deep in there, and hides under that and goes flat, and there is another one up here, another compartment in there. So there are a lot of hidey holes and kind of convenient things that this car does have. There's cup holders and a few storage bits back there as well. Uh, I'll bring it around to the front of the car. Okay, so I'll just show you the, the interiors, seats and plastics first. As you can see, same story as the rear, hardly any wear and tear at all. Uh, you got your, your diff lock there for your full driving. Uh, your radio up here, you do have an AUX port, a little gold circle just there to play music through. Below that you have all your air conditioning controls uh, and then you do have a bit of a hidey hole there and your, um, your 12 volt accessory port, cup holders, gear selector, uh, your mirror controls and the handbrake. Up here are your different radio controls just there, uh, wipers that side, indicators that side and just there is your cruise control. Uh, that's your dials up there, I'll just grab the key. Uh, and you do have automatic windows throughout the car as well. Lights up, so it's done 98532 currently. Um, so I'll just quickly turn the car on for you. As you can see, car starts first time. Uh, there's no engine lights, there's a seatbelt light, my door open light, and that I have the handbrake on. So it runs quite smoothly. And holds its revs quite well too. That's how your radio comes up and it all lights up in the orange colour at night. Um, you have a sunglass holder up there and even just the condition of the roof. Uh, a few minor marks just there, the dots, but really other than that there's not too much to, to complain about up here. It's pretty good, especially for these kind of family cars. Okay, there you go Kelly. So that's a, a quick overview of the Toyota RAV4 that we have in stock. Um, if you are happy with it, well, I'll be giving you a call shortly anyway, um, but if you are happy with it, we can work out um, what the transportation cost is for the car, um, and then I'll have a chat to my manager to see if we can get that included for you. Um, but otherwise, I hope the video tour has helped, um, kind of give you a good overview of how tidy this car really is. Um, but I'll be speaking to you soon, Kelly, and thank you for watching.